Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2! Last time, we got taken over to the Sword Cathedral in order to participate in a special ceremony, because it seems like they're creating some sort of, like, special squad. Some, um, squad that's gonna do, like, you know, like, really secretive work and everything, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, other people have mediums, too, it's not just us? Oh! Oh, so did you fight with Brad? Oh, well he was the hero of the Liberation Army, so I guess he did. Huh. Oh, National Dog. Um, well, dogs follow orders and I guess we do too. Oh, yeah. Oh, well that's no good. Why would you get assigned to this front line? I would think that, like, grunt soldiers would get assigned to the front line where they could just be, you know, shot down and used as fodder. Since we're, like, a special soldier group, I would imagine that we would be, um, you know, more important, our lives would be more valuable, so they wouldn't want us to die. I mean, that's just my perspective, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did I talk to this table already? I kind of think I did. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I talked to you. Okay, so, just wanted to double check there. <laughs> Oh, cute. Well, I'll write her a letter or something. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I got some really exciting news today. Um, there's some construction going on outside my house on this major road here, and I've been complaining about it for quite some time. Um, it, it's been going on for about a month or so now, and my friend Ken Smith, he works over on, like, I think it's Fox 5 News. It might be CBS News. I'm not really sure. But he does traffic and weather and all that kind of stuff on the news station, and he texted me this morning um, about the road construction act, asking if it was still going on, I said yeah, and then he asked if I wanted to be on the news to do like a little soundbite about it, so I'm like, yeah, how cool would that be? I'm gonna be on the news, I've never been on TV before, and YouTube doesn't even count. <laughs> So that's going to be exciting. Yeah, I'm basically going to go on TV and bitch about construction. So, yeah, I'll be on for all of 10 seconds and be like, you know, I'm so frustrated with the progress that the uh, that the uh, construction companies are making here. You know, what's going on with this place? Get off my lawn! That sort of thing. My favorite things. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I I I I'm... I'm just excited about that, yeah. Like, honestly, I feel like these construction companies who are working at night, it's like they're only working 8 to 5. Who ever heard of construction companies only working 8 to 5? Like, what is that? It's not an 8 to 5 job, it should be a round-the-clock job. And you know, people need jobs, so hire a second and a third shift. What's the deal? They have lights out there anyway, I mean, come on. Um, so, yeah. In order to move the story along, you just gotta talk to this commander right here. And he just wants us to, you know, eat and be merry. So, sounds good to me. Yeah, we could do that. How hard is it to just eat? What's going on? Oh no, earthquake? Wait, wh what? Whoa! What in the world is this thing? Huh. Some sort of, like, dimensional vortex or something? What's going on here? Oh, how weird. Oh, whoa, what in the hell? Whoa, holy shit! Oh my god, we're all like turning into monsters or aliens or demons or something. Whoa! Um, I don't think that this is a joke. This looks like the real deal to me. Um,. I would imagine our orders are get the hell out of Dodge! Whoa! Come on, let's get out of here. Although, they don't look violent. They're just kind of standing around. They're not really doing anything. So, maybe they're not bad monsters? But are there ever any good monsters? It seems like in JRPGs, every once in a rare while, you'll find some sort of town of good monsters. But it's only at, like, the very end of the game in some hidden island somewhere on, like, the edge of the earth, because all the, I guess all the good monsters have been killed, even though they're good? I don't know. Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, holy crap! Well, what's going on now? Yeah, seriously, where are you now? Um, 
Where are you? Okay. Is he like trapped in his own mind right now? Is he hallucinating? Oh, that's true. I guess he's like talking to his conscience right now, I would imagine. Well, you know, they were good people. Huh. You know, in any other JRPG, they'd be like, no, I can't kill them. They were once a person. We have to somehow contain them and help them and heal them. And I hate that crap. In this game, it's like, fuck these bitches. We're going to kill you. <laughs> Which is honestly like what you would do in real life. You wouldn't sit there and be like, oh, well, they were once human, so we need to find a way to save them. No. You know, it, it's, it's kill or be killed. And, you know, you have to kill them. Yeah! <laughs> so, let's do it! Apparently, we can turn into a demon ourselves, but we're a different demon. A nicer demon. Oh, yeah. But we don't have access to our skills or our force abilities or anything else like that. We can't have access to our items. We can't change equipment or run or anything else like that. Um, we could just fight. And at level 3, it's just going to take two hits to kill these guys. And whenever they try to attack you, more than likely they're going to do zero damage to you. They can get a critical hit, which can deal some damage to you, but it's not very likely. And for killing them, you get a heal berry and you get 30 experience, which is quite a lot of experience for right now. So what I'm going to do is not skip a single solitary battle and kill them all. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to meet you whenever they're all dead. See you in a second. Mm. Okay, I got all of them taken care of. So let's just uh, move on our way. Oh. That's a mirror. Huh. Oh, Ashley sees what's happened to himself. Oh, are you stuck like this forever? Oh, that wouldn't be good. Oh, poor guy. Oh, I feel bad for him. So, more monsters! I want to take care of all those guys. Um, there are no random encounters in here. They're all on-screen encounters. I wish they did this for the entire game, but no. So we can head on in here, fight some more guys, and then read some books. Wow, I've made it up to level 5 already. Uh, sure. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, so the sword mage just was born here. Really? Oh, and by the way, just FYI. The Argit Lam is also the Guardian Blade, so we know that it was created using Rudy's arm from Wild Arms 1. So does that actually mean that Wild Arms 1 and Wild Arms 2 are connected? Do they take place on the same Fulgaia? Or is it like some sort of alternate dimension Fulgaia? I mean, I know that Fulgaia does have dimensions. We went to the Ul dimension. We did some time traveling and stuff like that in the first game. So, yeah, I'm actually asking. I'm, I've read that all the Wild Arms games are not connected. Um, that seems to be the official stance. But does anybody have any theories on how they might be connected? I don't know. I heard that 1 and 3 could be connected for various reasons, like the demons, and there's some dungeons that are similar, and they have the same maps and things like that. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is what I've read, but, you know, that's on message boards, and I don't know how much authority people on message boards actually have. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I don't know. Talk to the fans out there. Oh, the Event Horizon, sure. What's that? Oh, he was contained. Oh, great. The seal must be broken! Hmm... So eventually, this um, blazing demon is going to get out and kill us all! Oh. Huh. So, disasters and natural disasters and monsters come because of the negativity in human hearts? I've played this JRPG before. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Yeah, she was just some ordinary girl. Yeah. Huh. The Red World? Oh, yeah, that fiery demon blaze and everything. Oh.
Wow, this is like a really dark, depressing book. Man. Oh, Lucian, huh. The Guardian of uh, Desire. He was in Wild Arms 1 as well. Actually, he's in all the Wild Arms games, so yeah, there's that. Oh, Queen of War. Holy crap. Huh. I guess uh, she doesn't mess around. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get, get on out here. We can't run, by the way. We have to walk, which is just lovely. Hey, I've made it up to level 6. Um, that'll allow me to get another point into HP up personal skills. And by the way, I did a little bit more research, and for every point in HP up that you gain, you get 10% more HP at your level up. So you can get um, up to 30% more HP per level up, which is huge! Did we just pull the sword? Oh, it's a sword mages! Hey there! My wish? Save the world! Or to go home? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. What's going on? Oh. Oh. Uh, hey. So did we get the ultimate, most amazing sword, like, five hours into the game? That would be amazing! But no, this isn't Lagoon. We can't have that. Did anybody ever play that game, Lagoon? It was a pretty good game for the SNES, but yeah, there was like the secret sword hidden in like a castle basement or something, like literally in like the first town. And if you knew where it was, you could get it, and it would be like the best sword in the game. It was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh! What the world? Oh. Oh. Huh. So he went from white to red to human again. That's odd. Yeah, who are you? Where the hell did you come from? Are you the one who turned everyone into demons? What's going on here? You're Irving, the man on crutches. Okay. Oh, Valeria! Huh, a man bearing a cross called you. That's odd. Well, Lilka was looking for the Valeria household, so I assumed that she was looking for you. Oh, okay. So our meeting here was fate. How did you get here? Whoa! Oh, Ashley, are you okay? Demon summoning. Oh. So these two guys out here were the ones who summoned the demons. He's a key user. What is this, Kingdom Hearts? No, that's something else. I actually don't like Kingdom Hearts. I mean, yeah, it could have a good story. And I like Disney, and I like Square, and I like Final Fantasy. So we should like Kingdom Hearts? But here's the deal. It is a 3D platforming game, and it's an action RPG, and I just can't have that. If it was 2D, I'd be all about it. If it was like Secret of Mana, or hell, even like Need to Endless Trails or something like that. But 3D action RPGs, and it's hard, and I just, oh, there's jumping, and I just can't have that. It's awful. <laughs> oh man, I barely made it through Xeno Gears with that Tower of Babel. What a nightmare. Sir Vinsfeld. So this is Kena. And this is Vinsfeld. So why don't you just say I just believe in you? Why'd you say I just believe in Sir Vinsfeld if Vinsfeld is right there? That doesn't make any sense. This people's like speaking in third person? Odd. I don't know, Ashley. So wait, there's someone else inside of Ashley? It's not just his conscience. It's literally another being inside of him that's talking to him or trying to get out. Your former self? Has he been like reincarnated or something? What's going on here? Whoa! Ah! Wait, is the inner is the inner person trying to destroy? Ashley? Is he, like, hurting himself? What the hell? 
Oh, yeah, well, at least you're human now. What in the world's going on here? Oh, well, sorry to worry you. Yeah, he's fine. He's not a demon anymore, so that's good. Wait, oh, wait, he's been out for a week? Holy crap! What do you mean, what attack? Oh, the terrorist attack. That wasn't exactly a terrorist attack, that was more of a demon summoning. Yeah. But I mean, I guess they have to blame it on something. They can't go around telling every Tom, Dick, and Harry that, you know, there's people summoning demons. They'd be mass panic. It's a lot easier to explain a terrorist attack than demon summoning. Who's the lone survivor? Huh. Yeah. Who else could you possibly be? <laughs> Oh, and now this woman actually cares about him? And I love, it's, st it's, it's still Baker's wife. Where is the Baker's, like, where is the husband? Where is the actual Baker? I don't see one. I'm so confused about this living situation. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, the man on crutches carried him back here? Seriously? Although it didn't look like crutches to me. It looked more like he was, like, having a cane or a walking stick or something. But still... How could someone on a cane drag a big strapping army guy? I mean, people in the army are huge. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I will. I'm not saying that I'm not going to go thank him. I mean, he saved my life after all. Although, for all I know, he could be the one who summoned the demons. I mean, I know they didn't, but Ashley doesn't know who did or didn't. It's Lilka! Hey there! What's going on, Lilka? Oh! Yeah, are you okay? Well, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, Lilka, you are a mess in a dress. God. Oh, again? Man! You just go to the item shop and buy it for 100 Gela! Like, anyone can use them! It doesn't even take a sorceress to use a teleport gem. My god, Marina can go down to the item shop, buy one, and use it. Come on now, what's wrong with you? Oh, you haven't eaten anything. Oh. Well, it is like the only bakery in the entire world. So I guess that's how you were drawn here. It'd be cool if they had more restaurants and stuff like that. If they had like a food system in Wild Arms 2, kind of like they have in the Trails games. Not that I really ever use food in the Trails games, but, you know, it's there. It'd be nice if they made an effort. Just one? You've been, like, starving for ages, ever since your scenario and everything. Oh. Oh. Five jelly rolls? Huh. Didn't Cecilia want five hamburgers back in Wild Arms 1? Or was it three hamburgers? I kind of think it was five. I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. She ordered five hamburgers, one for Jack, one for Rudy, and three for herself. There we are. Oh, okay, sure. So you know where it is. Oh, or not. That works, too. <laughs> you know roughly where it is. Sure. Oh. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, totally. Hey, and we get more party members who actually join our party. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, they don't really say anything different, either. So, uh, there's some things that I do want to do while I'm here. Let's see, let's first go over towards the, uh, magic shop right here. And one thing that I want to do is get her a new spell by erasing an old spell. I'm gonna go ahead and erase Freeze. And I'm gonna create, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, where is it? Yeah, this lightning attack. That'll come in very handy very soon. So make sure that you get that for Loka. Another thing that we can do over here, let's see, where's the item shop? That's the arm shop. Get out of my way. 
Uh, per ooh, personal skill shot. Gotta go there as well. Um, since Ashley made it up to level 6, we can go ahead and get him another point in HP up. So, there we are. Awesome. And Lilka definitely needs a point in HP up as well. So, nice. Um, and let's see. Going over to the, toward the item shop. Okay. Uh, let's see what I want to buy for her. We can go ahead and buy her a Flumbrella if you want to. But her attack power sucks anyway, and she still won't be able to kill anything with it, so I don't want to waste the money. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase her a Mage Robe um, so that she has some more, you know, defense. That'll actually come in handy. Whenever we head over towards the Valeria household, next time let's play Wild Arms 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.